Vastu tips for indoor plants. Do not keep these 10 bad luck plants at home. Most unlucky plants. Hello and welcome to my friends. Hope you and your family are doing well. Now you are watching your favorite YouTube channel, Gardener's Gardening. Today, I'm going to tell you about unlucky plants and the reasons why they are called bad luck plants for home according to Vastu Sastra. Decorating home with indoor plants is a trend of urban culture. Greenery is also good for hours, eyes and health. Also they are good for our indoor environment because many of them are good air purifying too. But there are some plants which are Vastu compliant and can bring bad luck and disharmony and can destroy peace and prosperity in family if you have them indoors. Before starting the video, I am requesting you to please subscribe our channel and press the bell button to get connected with us. Here is a list of 10 bad luck plants that you should avoid to keep them indoor and outdoor. Number 1. Thorny Plants and Cactus Vastu Shastra says that thorny plants and cactus brings negative energies into our home. When you see a thorny plant or cactus, its thorns foster an argumentative thoughts in our subconscious mind, and as a result, chaos occurs in the home, which destroys romantic relationships. They also cause financial difficulties, so results disharmony and poverty. So, you should not keep any thorny plants near main entrance, bedroom, living room, or anywhere in your room except rose and aloe vera. In India, some people keep phony monsa, but as it is also a thorny plant, so not good for Vastu. It may bring bad luck and misfortune to the home and can cause stress and anxiety in the family. But if you already have them, shift them to the roof or window for protection purpose or consult a Vastu expert to find right direction to fight against negative energies. Number 2. Bonsai Plant Bonsai plants are very costly and attractive and very tough to prepare them, but unfortunately they are not nature made and going against the natural selection. It creates a suppression in our subconscious mind. These miniature form damage prosperity and block the progress in the family. So, it is better to avoid them keeping at home. When you stop a plant's growth, according to Newton's third law, the same vibration applies to you from nature, and your development in career or business also gets stopped or inhibited or stagnant. Number 3. Tamarind Plants Tamarind have huge Ayurvedic properties, but according to Vastu Shastra, it attracts negativity and impact adversely on peace of mind, and therefore it is suggested not to keep or grow these plants in your home garden. It is said that evil spirits live in these plants, and if you bring them into home, negative energies comes with this, results quarrels within family members. You are also suggested not to keep date palm plant in your home which suppresses overall growth and success, also causes financial crisis too. Number 4. Mehandi Plant In any auspicious occasion people apply mehandi on hand and use them to color hair, but don't keep this plant in Vastu. It is believed that evil spirits exists in mehandi. Actually, the strong smell disturb one's calm and peace of mind. Number 5. Cotton Plant Silky cotton plants are pretty to look but they bring bad luck. So, avoid to keep this plant in home. According to Vastu and Feng Shui, these plants are unlucky negative plants. Number 6. Dead or Dying Plants Dead, lifeless flowers and plants interrupt the energy flow surrounding us and create sad feelings or negative impact on our mind and disturbs the yin-yang energy balance in home. So, dead flowers should not be stored indoors and to be removed quickly. Carnations also are not recommended to keep indoor, but plant them in outdoor garden. Number 7. Babul Plants, Vachelia Nilotica Vastu expert says, it is better to avoid keeping babul plants in home garden, as it has thorns and causes quarrels among family members. Number 8. Banyan Tree Auspicious Banyan Tree according to Hindu religion is good for temple premises, but not recommended for home, where a person resides with his family. Actually, its strong roots have power to break the architect or foundation of your home. Large bamboo trees are also not good for Vastu. Number 9. Tall trees or large trees in the east or northeast. 
Tall or large trees in the east or northeast side of the home hinder the flow of positive energies. If already there, cut or trim them before consulting Vastu expert. Large plants in front of main door also are not good. They obstruct energy flow. Number 10. Toxic poisonous plants like philodendron, dumb cane, English ivy, oleander, sago palm, lils, calla lily, easter lily, tiger lily, day lily, asian lily, rubrum lily. These plants are poisonous, especially to children, cats and pets. Sap of these plants causes stomach upsets, vomiting, headache, skin irritation, blurred vision, digestive tract swelling, spasms, seizures, fever, pain in throat, and even heart block if ingested in large quantities. If grapes are planted, they should be placed high out of reach of pets and children, if possible otherwise remove from home garden. Do not plant those plants which contain milky sap, they attract diseases and other health problems in home. Artificial plants also to be avoided as they bring dead energy. Avoid plants with downward growth foliage, as they contribute to the energy of depression. So, before purchasing for your home or to gift for your loved ones, avoid these unlucky plants which I have mentioned in this video. Choose lucky plants from my other video, link is given in the description box. If you got some benefit then give it a like, share it to your friends and relatives. Stay tuned with us. Please subscribe our channel to get more such beneficial videos regularly. Thank you so much to all our viewers. God bless you.